I'm Karen Andrews, and this is InterVision Studio. This is my property, which is a mile north of West Stockbridge Center. And I'm a watercolorist, photographer, and maker of art products. Let's go in. So my, my earliest work was actually photographic. This was long before Photoshop. I did this in the 90s, and I used to walk in the woods every day. I did this for a year, and actually I still walk every day. This is like 30 years later. And this piece I actually was, it's called Yin Yang, it almost named itself. It was a pond that I came upon when I was literally lost in the woods, and I saw the you know, the way the sun was setting, there were the clouds and the leaves reflecting on the water. And I knew when I saw it, it was a really magical moment. I did find my way back, luckily. But this was part of a series that eventually got bought by Hartford Hospital. This, this and a few other pieces hung in the Taiwan Embassy at one point. And so this, this has traveled around a lot, and it was a show that I did uh, kind of documenting what I would call a healing journey as I walked in the woods. I'll show you a few more pieces that are from that time. This was called Golden Storm, and it actually was shot uh, <laughs> shot this way. It's a puddle in the woods. Again, no Photoshop, didn't even know about Photoshop. A lot of photographers have asked me how I did the lighting, and I just took a picture of a pond. But I like hanging it this way, where it looks like the trees are kind of doing something magical. Uh, another landscape photograph that I actually, somebody bought a really large one, and I blew it up to about, I think, maybe six feet wide. And this was, again, no Photoshop, just a November day. And I think I took it in Monterey. But I love walking around in the woods. It's one of the things that I found really helpful for my own healing. I became chemically sensitive a bunch of years ago and actually couldn't do darkroom work anymore, but I was really happy to be able to do digital photography, and it was part of what helped me get better. So let's see. Another series that I did, this actually is in Housatonic. This was one of the mills that I got to go in. Probably the only day I could have gone in when they were, it was all cleaned out and I had the run of the place for a few hours. This was the dye baths for the paper mill. And this was one of the large, I think six foot in Diana, or six feet high gears that were part of the mechanism. This was actually part of a series I did on, uh, called it a feminine view of the mechanical world and actually went into a, a like a, I forget what we call it, a gravel pit, and I went into different industrial sites and took pictures from just of the forms and the beautiful things there. This is part of a series called Housatonic Hand Painted, where I walked around the town of Housatonic, which is really gritty and got lots of nice textures, and I painted right on little four by six photographs with oil pastel, and then I would blow them up and Put them on a canvas. I have another one which was all right that we have to edit. <laughs> I'm forgetting the name of this but um, oh, this one is this one is called Tin Pan Alley and uh, again it's a just a from a photograph that I hand painted right on top of and the originals for four inches by six inches. I did meet someone once when I was showing this who said, oh, that's my laundry there. <laughs> this is a photograph. It's actually a montage that I created in Photoshop. I'm now doing Photoshop. And I took a model out in the woods with scarves, something I love to do. And I had her sort of dance around. And then I sewed it together in Photoshop. And this was a photograph, uh, this was from a photograph, this is called Muses. I was invited by a choreographer and educator who teaches young women how to dance in the Isadora Duncan style. And she had a little festival at Chesterwood, which I photographed where these young girls were wearing little, these beautiful blue silk outfits and garlands in their hair. It was absolutely magical. So I ended up making a painting of this. This is my best-selling painting ever. People are always wanting it. 
I ended up making some clothing out of it, which I'll also show you. This is a scarf that I actually made out of the muses. And uh, so it's, it's wearable art where people can, I've had people hang it as a wall hanging. And I also made a dress out of the same pattern. <laughs> this is another dress that I made. This is called the Blue Gem, where I would take part of a watercolor and make kind of a repeat pattern. And then I have it sent out to a company that makes clothing. This is actually the painting that it came from. So you can see it's been altered a little bit in the process. I have a bunch of leggings. I sell yoga pants. And this one, I think, yeah, this was made out of this painting. So again, I took the painting and just repeated the pattern. This one is called the Round Yellow Leaves, another pair of yoga pants. I also made scarves out of this. This was actually from a photograph I took of my neighbor's tree in the fall, made a watercolor out of it, and then it became clothing. So all of these have a little story. This one I'm calling Moonscape. And actually, I have the image right over here. This is a little hard to explain, but it was a collage of both photographs and ink marks on Yupo paper that I collaged together in Photoshop and then had it printed on metal. But I thought it made a handsome pair of yoga pants. <laughs> Pretty much, you, I can make anything out of anything. <laughs> this is again the round yellow leaves. These are very big. <laughs> and then I, I show them. You can wear them in various ways. <laughs> but it's fun. I've actually always made hand-painted clothing. Even my, my very first artwork was painting on t-shirts. I did that about 30 years ago. Yeah. Am I still on? Still oh. <laughs> then I got very ambitious and started making bathing suits. And this was from, from a painting of basically just one or two flowers. And again, I repeated the pattern. This is round yellow leaves again. This is one that was called watery floral. That I'll, I'll show you some other products made out of that. This is the blue gem again. Gotten a lot of compliments. <laughs> Bathing suits. Okay, and I also started making aprons at one point. There's a lot of companies out there that will print on fabric, so I, I find this very fun. It all started out with a some company from uh, Canada just showed me one of my watercolors with, you know, here's what it would look like on a dress, and I was like, all right, I was hooked at that point. Again, this is the nest pattern, and that's the yoga pants. So this is just a very fun part of my job. <laughs> this piece is called Swamp. It's actually from the swamp going down from Stockbridge to Great Barrington. I've looked at it probably every day for my whole time here, and I absolutely love the way the light falls on the water and the reflections and sometimes the mistiness. I did a lot of sort of special effects in different parts of the painting, but this is one of my larger pieces. And I'm really proud of it because it was from a photograph that I did probably 20 years ago. And I feel like I'm at the point in my watercolor painting where I can do the same quality of work with, with painting, but it took a long time. This piece is called Rainforest. It's using the watercolor very in a very fluid way, which is one of my favorite things where you get a lot of what I call happy accidents. And it was actually from the pond, inspired by the pond at the Botanical Garden, which is a place I love to go paint. This is called Sunflower Head. 
and it was a dried sunflower head that I had found. I did a, a few studies of it, but just absolutely loved all the little curves and sort of sculptural shapes inside of it. And I was very happy with the, the color scheme that I picked. This is a self-portrait I did last winter. I took a class with a very famous portrait artist, Mary White, and learned a ton doing this. It was a really fun exercise, and I'm actually hoping to do more portrait work. And this painting is from Quebec City. It was actually from a photo that I took probably 40 years ago, and I found it and just did a little study of it, but I, I got a lot of compliments. Somebody said it looked like a sergeant, and I thought, wow, thank you. This is actually one of my favorite pictures, which I'm not going to sell, and it was taken from the Green River, a photo I did of the Green River of a little family being at the beach together, but it had a nice feeling to it, and... You know, there's things I've learned since, but I just really like the flavor of it. And this is a watercolor, again, from Housatonic. I do a lot of local things. A friend's garden, Christine Coldis, has an absolutely beautiful garden. And this is one of her helpers picking flowers that day. So I, I love people in gardens. These two paintings are from the Big Deep, which is a favorite swimming hole in Woodstock, New York. I actually took a lot of classes at the Woodstock School of Art. And in the summer, I like to go there and actually swim. But I took some pictures and then made these paintings from it. One of my favorite things to paint are farms. And I've got sisters picking herbs down below. And then two images of silos. I often just stop on the side of the road and take pictures or sketch farms. I love, love how the the land looks and the buildings and all, everything sort of piled up together, all the texture. So again, I've, I've put the muses on now a charcuterie board. And this is a, an item that I sell sometimes at crafts fairs where people can put like cheese or bread or fruit on the board or hang it in the window as a decorative piece. And I've got a whole bunch of different designs. This is called the Intense Flower. Floral silhouette. This is the lilies and then the sunflowers. I make them round and square. This is an item that I, I often sell at craft fairs. I also sell placemats where I've put my artwork on a 11 by 17 placemat and I've sold probably thousands of these by now. And for me, it's a, since I was an art history major, I liked the idea of mass producing art for people to use just on a daily basis. So this is one way that I've gotten my artwork out there in a big way. People buy like, they'll buy like four of a kind in one of these sets. This one called the watery floral. I think there was, I should, there was a bathing suit with that on it. And this is absolutely my bestseller. People just love this piece. Lastly, these are my tea towels. Uh, they're printed on linen. I actually have them printed in Canada. And just as another decorative piece for housewares. This one, this was from a, an abstract piece that I did called Sunny Landscape. And this was my floral silhouette. And people sometimes buy them like a matching set with this and a cutting board or a placemat. Thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoy the little tour and do come by in person. I'm open by appointment pretty much anytime. InnerVision-Studio.com. And I'm Karen Andrews. Mm -hmm.